most people who do vision boards do life vision boards. They do a vision board about, you know, all the areas of their life. And the exercise of doing a vision board is to get it out of your head and on paper so that you can actually see a representation of it so that you are more likely to achieve it. The, the ideology behind vision board is, is that we as humans are the only creature in the world who have the ability to influence or set the pace of their future by defining in their mind what they want. So if you want a goal, all you have to do is visualize the goal and you can then begin to set the motion in motion what it's going to take for you to achieve the goal. And so a vision board is a powerful way for you to set in motion the realization of whatever it is that you want. So travel is a great thing that people want, right? Most people, when you ask them what are their dreams, include some sort of travel. So as travel agents and travel professionals, it is incumbent upon us to host vision board parties for our customers so that they can start to visualize all of the different places that they could go to achieve their vacation goals or their bucket list goals or their particular destination goals, right? And for you as a travel agent, if you specialize in a particular destination, then you get the opportunity to speak truth into them about how this really can be a, a reality. And so let's talk about how best to do that, all right? So hopefully that makes sense and you guys are jazzed about an actual national day that you get to celebrate for your business. I love that. I love the fact that there's three days in January all that travel agents and the travel profession can take advantage of for marketing opportunities. So that's like a no-brainer. Like in January this year and next year, you don't even have to think about your marketing ideas. All you have to do is just schedule them and plan them and start building marketing campaigns around getting people invited to them, right? Isn't that exciting? All right, so I think a great idea for you to do either a physical event, right, or a virtual event. And so what do I mean by a virtual event? Where you would be hosting a live like I'm doing here. You would create the event in Facebook, uh, you know, in any other, in any forum that you choose. You know, Facebook is my choice, my forum of choice, but you would create the event on your page, you would create an email series around that and invite people to that. That's what a virtual event. Or you actually have a physical located event, right? So you, you know, rent out a space somewhere um, or you, you know, your local library, my local library, you can actually get that space for free. So you schedule the space and you pick a date and a time and then you do a marketing campaign to invite people, right? So it's either a physical or a virtual event that you will do. I'm saying it, okay?